Hey guys, Matt here. Today we're going to watch a video of a painting I did a couple weeks ago, and I'm just going to talk about the process and sort of give you some insight to what I'm thinking about while I'm painting. Okay, so in the beginning, I'm just putting different washes of color down, sort of looking at the image and thinking about what's going on in it. Some of it's random, but some of it's based on the image. I use my little scraper tools to sort of add some interesting patterns, but also like start thinking about where the shapes are going to be and the form is going to be. So it's a little bit of random and a little bit of like, there's a little bit of like logic behind it. And now there I'm just using some like brown, which is basically for me, it's like a lizard. I mean, ultramarine marine blue and transparent red oxide is what I use to sort of draw stuff in. So I'm like measuring, looking at shapes, using a paper towel to take out the highlights and sort of just get a sense for where my person is going to be. I'm using pretty um, I'm using paint with a lot of a uh, gamsol right now so that it's more washy and like loose and like there's more movement to it. I'm not trying to be super accurate at the moment, but I'm also trying to slowly define the shape. I find it a lot more freeing in the beginning to like add different textures and shapes and abstract areas. So like if I can do that in the beginning, it's easier for me to then refine it later rather than adding the abstract or, or unusual shapes after it's been more laid in. It's just a lot of being in the moment, going with your intuition, um, and just, it's like a lot of just problem solving and not overthinking it at this stage. So putting stuff down, but also being okay, wiping it out and knowing that that's just part of the texture for the whole piece. So like at this stage, I knew I liked that texture in the jacket. So even though I'm going to eventually paint over a lot of it, I still want to retain some of those interesting marks. I'm always measuring like very similar to how you would measure if you were doing a life painting class or any sort of just drawing from life. So I do it exactly the same as you would do, except I'm just looking at a monitor instead of uh, an actual person. Sometimes on bigger pieces, I'll actually measure like with a ruler and like say like, oh, this just to check to make sure things aren't completely off, but more so I'm just using my brush to measure. So here you can see like the arms are starting to get defined and the hands are starting to get defined, but it's still very loose. I would say at this stage also just being more bold with your color choices and maybe even picking color, like exaggerating certain colors. If you're trying to be too refined at this stage, I think it's going to make it feel too um, stiff. This gives it more life.
Still just focusing on the big shapes, just trying to make sure things are in the right spot before I take it too far. I think it's important to do all these measurements even if you are going to end up wiping it out because you still then know your image is in the right spot. So there is some planning to it even if you're going to scrape something out. Like eventually that whole right side of the face is going to be scraped off. But I didn't even know that at the time because I'm just sort of going with the flow and doing what feels right. Now I'm starting to lay in more of the jacket and I'm using pretty thick paint right there. So they're just nice juicy brush strokes. So yeah, they're in, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but there's just a, a lot of thick strokes mixed with that really thin underpainting and the scratchy marks, so it, it's a nice play between thick and thin. And that dress also is mostly a scratched out area, so like even though I'm going to refine it a little bit, it's really thin and scratched out, and I just really like that texture. So starting to define the face. Different pieces I would do it differently. For this piece because it was small, I'm just sort of laying in the shadows. If it was a little bit bigger, I might have drawn in the, the shapes more like precisely before painting them in. I'm really bummed that the video didn't capture me <laughs> doing that big scrape on the side because I really like how that turned out, but for whatever reason I wasn't recording when that happened. I think sometimes the camera stops recording and I don't even realize it. So I did that scrape and I realized like that I liked it but it still needed some refining to transition from the painted part to the scraped part. So that's what you're seeing there is like sort of making it flow while still retaining a lot of the texture. From when the video stopped recording earlier, you can see the hands are more resolved, but not still not quite done. And the hair has some more highlights in it that hadn't weren't there before. So just building up shapes, adding texture to the background, and adding more highlights to the face. The benefit of painting small like this is that you can do it all in a day or two and you really can like be in the moment and it lets you paint without overthinking. But then the downside is these faces when they're that small, I it's sometimes a little bit harder. 
You just have to simplify it more. So I'd say at this stage, I knew it was working. I was happy with where it was going and I'm just trying to refine all the little details, like work on the hands, make sure the coat is how I like it. I'll, I'm not sure if it ends up recording at the very end, but then I end up doing the eye and a few touch-ups to the background. But you can see in the background, I retained most of that early early mark making that I did because that to me is like the interesting energy in the piece that if you paint over that in a stage like this then you're just gonna lose that and it's gonna look a lot more dull. So resist the urge to overpaint. Just more refining. You can see up at the top of her forehead, I made that mark that sort of also helped transition the shape of the head into the scrape mark, which I think works. Yeah, at this stage is just refining, making some extra detailed spots. So then you have the mix of detail simplified shapes, abstract shapes, lots of different mark making from like juicy brush strokes to little detailed marks to the big bold scrapes and big bold applications of paint. And there's the final product. You can see I added a few more details to the jacket and the hands. Added a few more details to the eye, but I really left the background the same. And the dress, like the white dress underneath her jacket, is essentially how it was from early on. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching the process of that painting. My name is Matt Talbert. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.